are you doing with your Sunday shit today? Doing lawn and shit? No, fuck that. No, man. Uh, <laughs> just, uh, you know, run some air and, you know, hanging out. Fucking, uh, I'm, a, I'm a TV almagist. A TV almagist. You know, I, I study television. So, right. uh, doing a little bit of that, man. Studying the television and uh, actually writing a lot of lyrics and uh, getting some ideas for... I got a lot of shit happening right now, man. This, so uh, we're about to go on tour. We got an album we're recording. I'm doing a project with some other dudes from Sweden. Uh, I got a guy writing a book about my life. I got, you know, some shit's going on, man. Hell so yeah, I'm man. pretty busy, you know. Yeah, yeah. Well, it's not just the Chromags. It's uh. Oh yeah. Mags, and then there's a negative approach on some of the shows, like another half of the shows, and then there's uh, the obsessed are on a bunch of the shows. Uh, Capitals Casualties, who are fucking yeah. great. Uh, Phobia, band Phobia, who we've toured with before, they're on some of the shows. Uh, a, a local band from New Orleans called uh, Mountain of Wizards, who's actually yep. our drummer Aaron's other band. They're doing some shows on the tour, so. so it's a long fucking tour. It's the longest one we've done in a while. Right on. The last time we did a tour this long, someone died, you know, so. I remember we came that. Home. Yeah, we came home and our drummer died after we did a, a, a tour this long, so let's hope that doesn't happen go, again. Go, go fucking easy, brother. Well, yeah, it is. I had uh, I have had seventy two staples across oh, my Jesus. chest, man. As my uh, sister in law put it, she said it looks like my bottom half of my body and my top half of my body were like balanced on each other, like just like you know, because the the cut goes from one side to the other side. Does that now, you like like when you're? I I know like your fucking voice, dude. Like when you're fucking sing, don't you feel that in like that scar? Or, like I was very curious about that. Uh, I mean no no, I mean not that it, now that it's healed, now that now that everything's healed, it's fine. You know, I mean it took you know months to actually heal. Oh yeah. But yeah. um, at at the time of uh, I couldn't have done it. You know, when I had the staples and the, and the stitch, I had stitches, too. I had stitches, like, on the inside, staples on the outside. It was fucking crazy looking. We got pictures out somewhere, but I don't know what my wife did with them. They're somewhere. Dude, but, you uh, got to put the pictures out. We got to see that. <laughs> yeah, I, I'm, I've, been, I've been debating that. That's what I've been looking for. Them. I'm like, I got to see what these things look like and see if I can, should put them out in public. Oh, that, that'd be good for the new album cover, actually, if you got some really good <laughs> close-ups of it. Yeah, I mean, it, it, w- it would be. I mean, people were interested in it, you know. But, um, right. no, I mean, as long as, you know, as soon as it healed and everything, I mean, it's just normal, man. I mean, it's, it's just a huge fucking scar, you know. I mean, it's not like, well, it's, uh, it is crazy when you think about it because they actually, they actually opened me completely up, you know. Like, I mean, I mean, it's fucking, it's crazy to think about that I was, Laying there un- unconscious with this gaping fucking hole, and you know, but that's what they do, man. It's, it's, it's yeah. pretty magical how they can they can do all that. I don't I don't understand it, but you know that's what they do, man. And then they sew it all back together, and it's fucking done. It's it's crazy. I don't I don't know. That is, that's fucking insane, dude. I don't know, man. We kind of just stopped doing the show. It got kind of weird. We were both doing it, like, really, uh, we were both drinking heavily. You know, I was drinking heavily, heavy, heavy, heavily, if that's a word. You know, like, I, like people are like, don't you miss drinking? And I'm like, yeah, I do. But uh, I think I drank for, like, in like 10 different lifetimes. You know, it is, it is kind of hard, you know, but... Uh, because it's just, a, it numbs you, you know, just, you don't have to think about shit, you just, you know, it's like you pour this shit oh. down your throat and you don't think about nothing. Well, so, that's the thing, with, you, you can't predict, like, some nights I would have this awesome show drunk, you know, I'd be like, man, that was a great show, you know, I played drunk, and then somebody's like, no, you sucked, you know, that was, <laughs> and then, you know, I've had a tendency to, um, 
pass out like on the stage and I've I've ruined a few shows um about falling asleep behind the drum kit and things like that and you know, that doesn't make the rest of my band very happy, you know, and it puts on a bad show and I mean people wanna see a train wreck, you know, people love a train wreck, but at the same time people pay to come in, you know, so that shit's gotta end. You know, that's just it's punk rock and whatever you wanna call it, but that's just gotta end. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no, nah, not really. <laughs> no, but that's not all true because I do show up. I mean, it's just uh, kind of, it's random, you know. I mean, to me, I live like an hour and a half from the city. I live out in the woods, okay. like from, from New Orleans, you know. So I don't live, I don't live in New Orleans. But like I said, I live like an hour and a half away. So sometimes it's hard to get to practice, like, every, you know, four days in a row or whatever like that. And then uh, sometimes I find it stupid for me to go to practice if they're just going to write songs. I mean, what's the <laughs> point of me sitting there and listening to them write a song? Right and on. when I can, I can do that, I can figure out my vocal parts once I get a, a tape of the song, you know? So, uh, but, yeah, I mean, like last time, uh, the last tour, you know, we we rehearsed together. The la the one we just did after I got out the hospital and uh I'm sure for this tour coming up we'll uh you know, I'll 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 make my way up there and stuff too. I'm gonna say this too. I've been in this band thirty years, man. I hate God's been together thirty fucking years. So for me to have to rehearse sister fucker is a complete fucking useless point. You see what I'm oh, saying? Yeah. Why would I rehearse Thirty dollar bag again. I mean, good fucking god. There's no reason for me to do that. Um, you know. So, so that's the story on that. Um, no, not not much really. I mean, it was mostly uh, I, I can't even remember, man. I was I. I don't really even know because they, the, my wife was like collecting it all and like, you know, and saving it before, uh, you know, saving it for me. So I didn't really see any of the stuff till like I got out. Like some of the stuff, you know, if there was like any books or anything like that, I would say, yeah, bring those to me and let me check that out, you know, but, uh, but no, that's, uh, I got more crazy stuff when I was in jail back in, uh, 2005. <laughs> That's what that's when people were sending me the craziest shit, and uh, <clears throat> you know, like uh, I don't, I, I can't really remember what. It's like, uh, you know, like hip hop magazines with, uh, you know, with with the chicks with the big asses and stuff, like that magazine XXL. I was getting a bunch of those when when I was in jail, which was good. You know, well, you got you got to have jerk off material. Like you can't get laid in jail. Come on. Of course. I mean, you can if you want. You can get laid in jail. <laughs> it's just not my preference. <laughs> no, it's not. It's you know, fine what they do, but it's not my preference either, man. I'm, I'm, uh, I'm okay with that. But um, but you no, know, I was getting stuff like. Actually, they wouldn't even give me half the stuff um, there because they said some of it was satanic. And uh, really? Yeah. Oh yeah, yeah. I was in this little city. It was just this tiny little city called Morgan City, which is, I think it had two stoplights in the entire place. And I was there three months, and, and like, they, oh. you know, they, they thought I was uh, definitely, uh, first of all, because I got too much mail and no one else did, you know. And uh, so that was, that was strange to them, for one thing. And then the, the other thing was, like, Somebody would send me like a fanzine or a magazine with bands in it. They thought that was, you know, satanic propaganda, you know. So. What? Yeah, what man. Backwards Louisiana, man. You know, so that's how it is. I mean, I, I, a lot of stuff I didn't get. So when I got out of, uh, when I finally got released from that jail, they had a big garbage bag full of mail. That I, that I hadn't gotten brought up to myself. So I, I had all of this stuff, and I was like, damn, I wish I had this while I was up there. I would have had something to do half the days, you know? 
You um you follow Venom at all, the band Venom? Fuck Venom. Fucking Venom. Venom is one of my favorite bands ever. I've been I bought I bought Welcome to Hell when it came out, man. Because he when I was in it came out in nineteen eighty two. I was a kid back then. I was listening to nothing punk rock, you know, hardcore punk rock and any, just punk rock in general, you know. And my local record store here in New Orleans, they put the Venom record in with the punk rock record because of the way it sounded, you know. Yeah. So me, me and my friends, who liked some metals at the time too, you know, we were into some some of the heavier bands, of course, Motorhead. We were already into Motorhead. We were punk rockers, you know, but we liked Motorhead. So we saw the fucking, I remember the Venom album and Witchfinder General's first album, Death Penalty. They put both of those in the punk section. And we fucking, just from the covers alone, picked them up. We were like, these dudes got long hair, but they fucking sound amazing. So I've been a Venom fan since 1982. So like what about them? Yeah. All right, so here's the question I got for you. You, you know, since you're a Venom fan, you know there's Venom Inc. right now with uh, uh, fucking uh, Tony Dolan. Yeah. Playing. Who, do you, who do you think would win in, a, win in a wrestling match, Kronos or Tony Dolan? Well, they're brothers, right? I don't know if they're brothers. I, I, don't, I don't, like, like Tony Dolan, he filled in in the 80s, like, for, uh, like, Kronos left, and Tony Dolan popped on a couple albums in the 80s, like three or four albums. Yeah, the uh, Demolition Man. Yeah, Demolition Man. Who would win in a fucking wrestling match? A wrestling match? <laughs> I mean, uh, they're both pretty big dudes, man. I mean, I from I haven't seen a picture of uh, Tony in a while, but um, huh, I, I saw Venom at Hellfest a few years ago in France, and they were fucking great, and... uh Kronos looked like he was in pretty good shape, you know, so uh, as far as wrestling, man, I could not, I do not have an answer, man, sorry, I don't All know. Right, I'm just, I'm, I just sent you to, to your Facebook, I sent you a picture of Tony Dolan, just so he's like, if you would want to think about it and let me know in a couple of days, I just sent you his picture. <laughs> uh, I'll check it out, man. She put on some more it's gone beyond what I thought PC even was, man. People are going fucking nuts. Seriously? I don't get it. And it's it's crazy. That's why I'm glad a band like I Hate God exists, just to keep provoking these idiots and hopefully pissing people off a whole another generation. We've been a band for 30 years, so let's uh let's get let's get kind and gentle. <laughs> <laughs> But still really? provoke people, like I was saying. We still want to provoke people because the fucking government and uh, and all these fucking idiots, they need somebody to, to tell them fuck you. So we, we, we're there to do that still. I think the Russians are hacking us. Uh-oh. That might be it. It's important information. But, it really, you know, like, what me and you talked about tonight, this is a matter of national security. It could be a, a matter of Trump and death, man. 